Today, we're going to be talking about the labor of maintaining and scaling free and open source software projects. I'm Stuart Geiger at UC San Diego, and my co-authors on this paper are Dorothy Howard and Lilia Barani, also at UC San Diego. The first thing we're going to talk about are the roles of a maintainer based on our interviews with dozens of maintainers from a wide range of FOSS projects who are also in sometimes very different work and life situations. Contrary to how the term maintainer is used in other sectors, FOSS maintainers play a primary leadership role in their projects. They do do a lot of traditional software maintenance tasks like keeping software up to date and secure in a complex and fast moving ecosystem, but they must also maintain users' expectations that the software will continue to meet their changing needs. Maintainers also do a lot of less visible work, including seeking and managing funding, recruiting and mentoring contributors, coordination and project governance, conflict resolution, and users constantly ask them to do tech support. These tasks are often more social and not in the traditional job description or training of a software engineer. Some maintainers we interviewed told us that they were initially overwhelmed and unprepared for this less visible work, especially when projects achieve what one called catastrophic success, increasing both the workload and the stakes. We have several cross-cutting issues we discuss, which have lessons not only for FOSS, but for other peer production projects and communities. First, we discuss how, as projects scale, work not only increases, but fundamentally changes. We introduce the concept scalar labor, or how projects have to adjust to scale with limited resources, and the many meanings of scale as defined by maintainers. We discuss what we call scalar debt and the consequences of catastrophic success on breakout projects. Another dimension of scaling we discuss is becoming critical infrastructure for well-resourced organizations, which can be both a blessing and a curse for projects. Finally, we discuss issues of hypervisibility for maintainers of projects that are successful and widely relied on, which is linked to issues of burnout among maintainers. We have many recommendations for individuals, practitioners, and institutions that rely on this work. Check out the link in the last slide of this deck. But the major takeaway is a very CSCW one. We need to acknowledge that these projects are social communities stitched together by people. Many of the issues we've discussed are often implicit or only privately discussed by maintainers or only raised when it becomes a critical breaking point. Thanks to our interviewees, to our funders, the Ford and Sloan Foundations, staff at our universities, the peer reviewers, and maintainers of the software we used. Thank you.